have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiven, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My dear people of God, for us to celebrate in a world where this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for strength. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of mind, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When people are saying peace and security, then suddenly disaster comes upon them like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. For God did not destine us for wrath, but to gain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, as indeed you do. The word of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. I believe that I will see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirit, and they come out. And the news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good, and all the time, power, they say, corrupts. And absolute power, they say, corrupts absolutely. So most of the time, we see leaders, people with power, people with authority, acting with disrespect, out of affluence and arrogance. As safe to say, there is no space for the cooperation of authority and humility. So attention is shifted from impact of that office of the authority to the accessories of the office they occupy or the authority they possess. But in the gospel reading of today, Jesus teaches otherwise. In his case, as we heard yesterday, when he went to Nazareth, he was sacked. The people didn't know who he was. Today he comes to Capernaum, a town of Galilee, and he taught his people. That was his office. That was the authority he possessed. And in that case also, the people didn't know the person he was, but his works spoke for him. These are people who, has, who have been expecting the Messiah for ages. And there comes the day the Messiah stands in front of him and they hardly recognize him. Because the idea of leadership, the idea of authority, they expected from the Messiah, this man, the simple Jesus of Nazareth, didn't exhibit that. And so he stood in front of them, taught them, and exercised his authority. But they hardly identified him as one they expected. And this is something we all can learn from. In the case of Jesus, after him exercising his authority and office, the people marveled because his works and his deeds spoke for him, not the accessories of power. So we learn from Jesus today, and we pray for all those in authority, that we may concentrate in the in the, on the demands of the office or the authority for which we are called and that we may not be taken up here by the accessories 
of power, but that we may exercise authority and power in a very humble but impactful way. May God bless us and all authorities and those with power in our world and our homes. God bless us. My dear people of God, attentive to Jesus, we pray that the baptized may proclaim Jesus as God's Holy One. We pray to the Lord that every nation may welcome God's messengers. We pray to the Lord that the poor may hear and receive the good news of salvation. We pray to the Lord. And that through the intercession of Our Lady, our Lord will spare us during this hurricane season from all harm and will protect us, our homes and our properties, from all disasters of nature. We pray to the Lord. Speak your word among us, Holy One, that we may welcome the good news and live in us with works of justice that through us the poor and burdened may hear the message of salvation revealed in Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. As therefore we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith. And is coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way on Sapo or Sunday, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, first your resurrection, until he came again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamp of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you.
Let us pray. Renew by this bread from the heavenly table. We beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stay us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless and keep you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Mother of Perpetual Health Devotion. Most holy and immaculate virgin, and our mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. Mother of perpetual help. Confident of your powerful influence with God, obtain for us these graces. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Let us kneel to pray as a community of faith. Mary, all generations have called you blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for you. Let us pray for our temporal wants. Let us stand now to present our petitions in our thanks. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water into wine at Cana of Galilee. Let us stand now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help. Grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Mario, our priest, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Grant us continued health of mind and body and help the sick to regain their, healthy, their health according to your holy will. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased and to the souls of all the faithful departed. Let us pause now to silently present our own petitions to our mother of perpetual health.
Lord, accept our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. Accept our thanks for all the graces received through the sacramental life of the church. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings we have received. Let us pause now to silently thank our mother of perpetual help for our own favors received. Please kneel as we pray for the sick. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you within you that he may sustain you, before you, that he may lead you, behind you, that he may protect you, and above you, that he may bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us renew our confidence in Mary as a perpetual help. Let us stand now and unite with the, with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in com committing ourselves to their powerful protection. Help Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate, as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant, we beg you, that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you who live and reign forever and ever. Immaculate man.